Uh, welcome to this second video on completing the square on harder quadratics where the number before x squared is larger than 1. So in this example we're going to get some tricky fractions which we'll have to deal with. So the first thing I need to do then is divide the quadratic by this number before x squared and put it into a single bracket. So I'm just going to take that two out and do a big square bracket and I'm going to divide all this quadratic by two now. So we'll get x squared plus, so if I divide this by two we'll get five over two, you're better just leaving it as a improper fraction and then divide the minus four by two which is minus two. So this expression that we just worked out is the same as this one. So we now need to do our normal method for completing the square on the bit inside the bracket. So if I just set it out like that. So to get P then, this is the value of P here, you have to half the number before X. So we need to half 5 over 2. So what you can do is just times 5 over 2 by a half, which is the easiest way of doing it, and that will give us 5 over 4. So that's your value of P, which goes there. So we then square this P value here, so we need to work out 5 over 4 squared. So we just need to multiply fractions again, which gives us 25 over 16. And then we subtract this fraction off the end here. And then we just need to copy down that minus 2 to the next line. So the next thing we need to do is just work, simplify this little bit here. So you can do this on the side of your page. So we've got minus 25 over 16 minus, now if we change the 2 to a fraction, Let's make it 16 Let's by multiplying it by 16. So that will give us 32 over 16. So it's now easy to take away now. So that will give us minus 57 over 16. So if we just copy this line out again. So the final step then is just to get rid of the big square bracket now. So do this by multiplying by the 2 here. So the 2 multiplies the first term in the bracket. You just basically just need to put the 2 in front of the bracket here. And then we need to multiply the 2 uh, by the 57 over 16. So again just work this out on your side of your page. Right, so 2 times 57 is 114, 1 times 16 is 16, so we can cancel this fraction down to give us uh, 57 over 8. And there you have it, so it's in completed the square form. Thanks for watching.